Hey everybody, this is Bob Kovacs here at Wirefly with a review of the new HTC Resound. This is of course for Verizon and the Resound is a 4G phone. It uses Verizon's 4G LTE network and I've gotten some pretty darn fast speeds on this. Uh, I won't be able to replicate it down here in the studio but earlier today I did an internet speed test with the Resound and got a speed of 17.5 megabits. Uh, that is a very fast download speed my friends. So if you are anywhere uh, using the Resound or any 4G device and you get a speed of 17 megabits that is uh, going to be a very pleasing speed. So anyway we have here the new HTC Resound. I'm going to give you some quick facts and figures and then I'm going to dive into the sorts of things I usually do in reviews. Now the Resound has got a 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor. It's a very fast processor. It has one gigabyte of processor RAM. This display that you see before you is a 4.3 inch diagonal display and it's the first display with a resolution of 720 by 1280 pixels. Yes, it has 720 pixels in this dimension and 1280, 1280 in this dimension. That means it is a higher resolution display than the famous Retina display in the Apple iPhone 4 and 4S. Uh, I haven't done the calculation myself, but I read somewhere that the pixel per inch count with this phone is 342. I thought that the Retina display on the Apple iPhone was 326. Uh, now don't shoot me if those numbers aren't exactly correct. Those are the numbers that I heard. Okay, so we have 16 gigabytes of onboard storage inside the Resound. That's storage for your files for music, videos, photos. There's also a 16 gigabyte micro SD card that's pre-installed. So out of the box it has 32 gigabytes of storage, 16 gig on board and 16 gig in the form of an SD card. Of course if you want more storage you can take that 16 gig SD card out and stick in a 32 gig SD card and then you'll have a total of 48 gig of storage. But that's an optional thing. Now there is a front camera. This is a 2 megapixel front camera and of course there's a rear camera. This is an 8 megapixel rear camera. You can see it's got a dual LED flash. Now this, the Resound is capable of doing 1080p HD video. I've got a video clip I will show for you a little later. Now this lens is an f2.2 lens. That means it's a generally higher quality lens than you get in a cell phone and it also has a wide angle that's equivalent to a 35 millimeter camera wide angle of 28 millimeters. In other words, that's a relatively wide angle shot. If you have buildings in front of you, you can get more of them in the shot with a 28 millimeter lens than you can say with a 35 millimeter lens. So uh, in fact I've got a HD camcorder that's got a lens that's 43 millimeters and uh, that has a, actually not a very wide angle at all. So 28 is a very big advantage. So those are some of the features. Uh, let me uh, also, you can see that it's got HTC's famous Sense user interface. This is version Sense 3.5. This is compatible with the charm that came with the HTC Rhyme. Now the charm doesn't come with the Resound. However, uh, if you do get the charm, if you pick it up as an option or if you uh, borrow it from somebody's Rhyme, you can plug it in and the charm will work with the Resound. Of course, Sense 3.5 allows you to go around and around and around on your Android pages. You don't have to go to one end and back up. Uh, other manufacturers are doing that now too. I've seen the same on Samsung phones. So I, I like the ability to go around and around. And of course if you flip this you can get it to do that uh, carousel spin. I call it a barrel roll. So that's a lot of fun. Now one thing that the Resound does come with of course are the iBeats headphones. These are the Beats by Dr. Dre iBeats headphones. So the model number of these headphones is called the iBeats and uh, it also comes with a variety of these little ear pads so that you can swap ear pads if you break or lose them and so forth. And uh, they do sound pretty darn good. I've listened to a fair number of things using the iBeats headphones and uh, definitely they have very strong bass. 
maybe not quite as much treble as I would like. Uh, I'm at an age where I really appreciate more treble. Uh, the bass is real thumping though. If you have something with a lot of energy, and they do provide a couple videos, I'll, I'll give you a little tour of those later on. They do provide a couple videos that uh, give you some very nice uh, samples for the headphones. And as I said, we'll take a little look at those. Now, uh, let's look at some of the other things that we have here on the phone. Of course, there's widgets, your people widgets there. I've got all my uh, Facebook and other stuff on that. Plenty of open space for your, fi for your uh, icons and widgets and apps. Of course, I have the famous flip clock here with the local weather. So uh, that's always a lot of fun. And uh, as I mentioned before, I am getting 4G. Let me just do, see if I can do a quick speed test here and we'll find out what sort of speed we get down here in the studio, which is not necessarily the best place to do um, a, a speed test. But I'm gonna go ahead and tap it in here. I'm gonna shut the camera off and we'll come back and see what we get. Okay, there we go. I'm on the bandwidth meter, uh, bandwidth meter uh, page at CNET, that's C-N-E-T. So if you Google bandwidth meter CNET, that's C-N-E-T, you'll get this here. And uh, let's see what we get for speed. Now this is down here in the studio. I'm in the lower level in the center of the building. That's 16.6 .6 megabits. That is a very nice speed for a cell phone. So uh, excellent 4G LTE speed right there. Let's go back to the main page. I've got some uh, benchmark tests. Let's go ahead and run some benchmark tests and we'll come back and talk more about the phone. Now I'm going to go to system information first. You can see that it's running Android 2.3.4. It was called during development the HTC Vigor, of course, now it's the Resound. It does know that there's two cores, but it doesn't know the frequency and so forth of the cores. Here you can see that I've got one megabyte, excuse me, one gigabyte of processor RAM and the uh, display resolution is 720 by 1280. Let's go ahead and run the full benchmark. Now I'm going to again shut the camera off while the benchmark test is running and I'll pick it up once the test is wrapping up. This is the last visual test that's part of the quadrant test and I do want to get the results. And here's one of the problems with a display that has resolution as high as the Resound. The uh, characters inside of these bars are so incredibly tiny that it's hard to see. But I believe it's telling me that the score for this quadrant test is 2,218. That's 2,218. That's a good score. Not an unbelievably fabulous score, but it's a very strong score. I'm going to go back. And now I'm going to run SmartBench. We'll also get the SmartBench results. This will take some time. SmartBench, I've learned, is not uh, really happy with Android 2.3, so it takes a little time to run. Okay, here we go. I'm going to run SmartBench, and again, I'm going to turn the camera off, and we'll pick up the camera once the test is about ready to wrap up. This is the last of the visual tests in the SmartBench 2011 suite of tests. And it's going to take a while to get the results, but the results will come up eventually. And here we go. I do want to display the scores. Sorry about that. I touched the wrong thing. And here we go. Now SmartBench gives you two scores. One score is the productivity index, that's the green bar, and the other score is the games index, that's the red bar. In productivity, the uh, Resound got 3,401, that's 3,401, and in games it got 2,255, 2,255. Both very good scores. Uh, not the absolute best scores that are out there, but they are very, very strong scores. Uh, clearly, the Resound is a top-of-the-line phone with very strong performance. I'm going to go back. Those are, you know, a representative of a phone that's going to work very smoothly for you uh, and be a very fun phone when it comes time to do gaming as well as uh, any sort of number crunching or application that takes a lot of processing power. Now I want to go to the apps and I want to go to the gallery. They give you some interesting videos here in the gallery. This is uh, Ellie Goulding. And so they give you this Ellie Goulding video and 
you can't see it as well as I can see it, but the video quality on this display is absolutely outstanding. I'm not crazy about the song. I mean, her singing to me sounds like my two cats fighting. But the quality of this video, it is uh, very high quality. It's shot in a very film-like manner, and it looks absolutely beautiful. When they do a close-up of her, and you can see the strands of her hair, you get some sense that this phone has a level of resolution that we just haven't seen before. Uh, just absolutely outstanding. Okay, there you go. That's Ellie Goulding. That's one of the uh, videos that they give you. They give you another here, if I can get back to it. This is LMFAO, and I'm not going to go ahead and read what that says. Now, this has got a lot more punch, uh, lots of energy, and again, it looks absolutely fabulous. It was perhaps not shot with the uh, clarity of the Ellie Goulding video, but still, it is a lot of fun. Wearing the Beats headphones, the iBeats headset, uh, really, you can definitely get the thump from this. I mean, it was making my skull thump. So, I'm sure I didn't have it turned up the way some of you guys are going to have it turned up. Let me skip ahead just a little bit. There you go. I need to wear a jumpsuit like that to work. Maybe get some of those, uh, some of those tattoos as well. I mean, I like to wear fun ties, but um, this guy maybe makes a little stronger impression than I do. And there you go, that's uh, LMFAO. Now those come loaded on the phone, so I thought those were pretty outstanding. Now, I already talked about the camera that we have here. I'm gonna go to the camera app. There you go. Uh, of course, um, it has an eight megapixel camera with a dual LED flash, and on the front it's got a two megapixel camera. Now, I like to set up a still life on my desk. This is uh, about one floor right above where I'm sitting right now and I shoot the still life. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. I was really impressed by the focus of the HTC Resound. I thought it did an outstanding job of focusing on these items. When I held it closer and I did a real close-up macro shot, um, now without zooming in on that, here's what I got again. I thought the focus was excellent, but when I zoom in, when I go all the way in to see the full resolution, that is the best focus that I think I can remember seeing from a cell phone. It just looks absolutely wonderful uh, in terms of sharpness. I've got that uh, Rutherford B. Hayes there on the coin. You can read that very easily. Then I like to take a flesh tone shot. Here are my flesh tone models. That's Luis on the left and Jen on the right. Uh, I thought this came out pretty good. Now the the uh, color balance is not perfect. I thought maybe it's a little kind of blue-green. Still pretty good in terms of color balance. However, the sharpness, the focus is, again, this is about the best focus I can remember from a cell phone. The focus is very good. I really like the sparkle in their eyes. Uh, and, and this was one time when I thought it actually focused on their faces and didn't focus so much on the background. Almost always when I do cell phone photos with Luis and Jen, it seems to focus on the rather busy background behind them. This time, I saw that it made boxes around their faces, and it really seems to have focused on their faces. Okay, now I took the, the uh, Resound outside, and I shot a little bit of video with it. So let's go ahead and take a look at that video. This is an example of 1080p video from the HTC Resound. It is a lovely November morning. Look at that blue sky that you get in the fall here in Northern Virginia. Still leaves on the trees, not gonna last too much longer. Out here in the bright sun, and it is bright, it is a little hard to see the display on the Resound, uh, especially when I get it rotated so that it's uh, in certain angles, very hard to see. I have the brightness cranked up quite a bit. That is the Wirefly building there in the background with full sun on it. So that is an example of the 1080p video as well as live audio here from the HTC Resound. 
That was 1080p video. I thought the video looked uh, pretty good on my computer screen. Now, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if you're getting the full impact of that. Sometimes my editing system makes the video and the audio not as good as it actually is on my uh, computer at work. Uh, so I'm hoping you got the full benefit of that. The audio was very good. The audio seemed to be mostly in the right channel for some reason. I wasn't getting both right and left channel, and I'm hoping that you were able to tell that the uh, audio is coming out of only one channel. The quality of the audio was very good. The quality of the 1080p video was very good. Now that is among the best video and audio I've ever gotten in any cell phone. So uh, let me do one other thing, of course. I always like to do a little YouTube demo, and uh, let's go ahead and find something that I can show you. Uh, this is a video that I shot at uh, a racetrack in Charlotte. This is from the Charlotte Motor Speedway. I did a, a goofy car race called the 24 Hours of Lemons. And uh, here we go. There's some good audio with this as well. I think it sounds a lot better than uh, Ellie Golding. So this is a full HD video that I'm downloading from YouTube and you saw how quickly it was able to download that and get it started. And uh, there you go, this is a very fun car race with all sorts of junkyard cars fixed up and people taking a lot of uh, time to dress their cars in a very fun way. So this is a really terrific phone for, let me get that stopped there, a really terrific phone for watching videos. Now again, it's only a 4.3 inch display. I was walking around the office showing it to people and we were just ooing and eyeing over the quality of the video. Now the Beats headphones, which by the way, notice that this is a four conductor connector here. That means that the fourth conductor is used for a microphone. There's a microphone here, so you can actually have a conversation with somebody over the phone while you're using this. And as you look at this, it's got fast forward, rewind, play and pause, as well as uh, a button here for hanging up the phone. Now when I made a phone call with this, I wasn't quite so impressed. Uh, yes, I could hear the person, the person could hear me. We both thought that it was kind of digitized sounding. When I unplugged this and spoke directly on the phone, I thought the voice quality was really quite good. Now inside the phone, the battery is a 1620 milliamp hour battery. That's 1620 milliamp hours. I don't have a good feel yet for the battery life. Uh, I have had the phone overnight and it didn't get down very low and it seems to charge pretty quickly as well. So, so far, so far, my impression of the battery life is that it is pretty good. Okay, what do I think about the HTC Resound? I think it is a very good multimedia phone, especially with the Beats headphones. I think you guys are gonna be very happy with the deep, rich sound that you get from the iBeats headphones with the Resound. By the way, the Resound, of course, has the Beats technology built into it. I think that you're going to be really happy with that. This display is the nicest display. I mean, when I was playing that Ellie Golding video and I took it around the office and showed people, they were like, wow, I can't believe I'm watching a cell phone. It looked absolutely perfect. And of course, I love Sense and the flip clock and the way Sense works and going around and around like that, as well as the uh, you know barrel roll that it does when you just spin it around like that. So, I really do like the Resound. It is an expensive phone, um, not cheap at all, but it has the highest of the high-end features. The performance is right up there, perhaps not at the very top, but it's just below that. There's nothing about this that is slow or awkward or laggy. It is right up there, very smooth operating and fun to use. So, and of course, if you like these videos, by the way, please consider Wirefly as the source for your next cell phone. I mean, we have the Resound and we have it for as good a price as anybody else. So, uh, please think about Wirefly when it comes to time to buy your phone. Hey, I like the Resound. This is Bob Kovacs here at Wirefly. Thanks for watching.